He was a Marine Raider, so he trained in the Pacific and, you know, would be out on night training missions with Mako swimming around him and <laughs> pretty fearless. And the second deployment in 2006, El Umber Province, Iraq, was, that was a tough deployment. They lost 11 Marines. But then we get these conversations where we're going outside the wire. I, I just wanted to call home and tell you I, I, I love you and, and mom. And don't know if I'll, you know, when I'll be talking to you again or if I ever will be. As soon as it happened, I knew exactly what I did to myself. You know, I heard a snap, my body went limp. I just kind of floated to the surface, but I was face down. And I just remember thinking, I'm either gonna die or someone's gonna help me out. But I remember moving home and mom and dad were just basically doing my care, helping me out. And I've seen people that don't have the support system that I have and it's, it breaks my heart. I can imagine having to go through something like this on your own. Well, I met Adrian, I believe it was the summer of 2014. First time I saw him, he had really long hair and just a lot of smiles and it's really outgoing and funny. This young man showed up at the door with his sunshine hair and, you know, you kind of think, what's this going to be? But he had his scrubs on, very professional, big smile, and just turned out to be absolutely wonderful. Very caring, very competent, hardworking. It's hard to believe that he's been helping me for, I think, three years now. A lot of the days I'm in pain and, you know, it leaves me very frustrated at times and not feeling good. And then he can come in and just make my day a little bit better and put a smile on my face. And When the two of them get going, it's like, oh, brother, here we go. And, and all of a sudden you hear this voice go, what's happening, homie? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so going into greet Dan, you know, and it's like, OK, you know. It just makes Dan feel good, and that's that's why Barb and I feel so confident when he's here that Adrian will take care of Dan. And uh, it was like that from the get-go. It seems like he wanted to get to know me and be in my life, and it's been great getting to know him. And you know, I definitely care for him a lot. Definitely grown attached. I'm so happy for him. For Adrian to be named the Midwest Caregiver of the Year for Bright Star was an award and an honor that he earned. I think he's really got a huge heart and really does care about the total client. And really it is from his heart that he does what he does.